<sighs> as long as the Kraken is immune to these guys. Or at least gets bounced off of them. Let's test. Wow, the Kraken is just completely immune to these guys. Alright, that makes everything infinitely easier. And yeah, you have no penalty for just constantly using the Kraken either. The disparity between these two different challenges, the difficulty of them, that is, is just completely extreme. And it's kind of beautiful, honestly. Like, you know what, man? You just went through, like, the most ridiculous challenge in the game. Here you go. Have have some easy stuff instead. Oh wow, you go really slow on on uh I'm I was about to say grass. No, you go really slow on the, the glass. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. And another key obtained. Yeah, nothing about these time trials has ended up being particularly notable so far. But I do like the idea here, you know. The other two amiibo are about giving you different weapons to use, which change up the gameplay style. This one is just straight up giving you a different objective. And I think that's pretty cool. And I also don't remember where the key is in this area at all. Oh, well, maybe I have to beat that enemy. Yeah, there we go. That was it. I had to beat the enemy. It's like, hey, guys, look at that. I'm swimming around underneath the flutter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Now it happens. Anyway. All right, and I think that's the end of the level. Yeah, that's, that's really fast. Oh, wait, I could have just... I could've just crackened right into it. I didn't even think about it. Oh well. Alright, here we go. Shifting platforms. This one should also be pretty easy given that we have the Kraken because we can just slide around all over the place. We don't have to actually worry about these things, we just slide right through them. Whoop, there we go! It's like we're a ghost! A squid ghost. I'm pretty sure that was a thing in Danny Phantom. I'm pretty sure that there, were th there were squid ghosts in that cartoon. That was a pretty fun cartoon. Alright, here we go. And up onto another platform. Yeah, here we are, just climbing. Oh, that's interesting. Oh no! The Kraken's getting his head hit on the top of the wall. What? Whoa, okay, the camera's being a little bit silly there. Although, I guess, considering that I control the camera, that means that I was being kind of silly. Which is a thing that I am quite frequently. Oh, I guess I got health. <laughs> you can't tell if you have extra health as the Kraken. Because the Kraken has infinite health. Man, the Kraken just looks so cool. Just look at it. It just spews excellence out of every pore it has. Alright, now what I'm really wondering is if they're ever going to give us a boss that requires limited ammo. Because if they do, now that's going to be something tough. Nope, still time. And uh, with this one, I don't think that I can just hang out as the Kraken constantly. In fact... I don't know if the Kraken's going to help me at all that much. We'll see, though. Especially considering how slowly the Kraken moves around on glass, and how this boss battle has glass at certain points.
Yep, it sure is a clam. Well, let's continue. Oh, well, I guess that's nice. And uh, there we go. No problem whatsoever. That said, of course, this is the easiest hit. Things are going to get tougher now. Because we got movement. All right, I'm going to spray around in this general direction. There we go! I actually almost ran out of ammo there. That was bad. Or it could have been bad, at least. And here we go. Things just got crazy! Actually, this will probably be more beneficial. There we go, got it. Okay, yeah, that was really easy. This boss has never been that tough. And uh, this iteration is no exception. Let's just jump right into it. Nice. And we got the boots. Alright, so these are all time-based. Shouldn't be too bad. Because after all, we don't have to care about these things at all. Yeah, it's as though they specifically put every bit of difficulty in the limited ammo challenges and just put the, well, these challenges here as like a break. Which, I mean, I'm not against that. I'm all for going through levels really, pa really fast in an overpowered manner. I love that. There we go. Of course, I guess this level does involve some waiting, doesn't it? No, no, hit the guy. Hit the guy! Oh my gosh, just... Hit the guy, there we go. There we go, I knew I needed that key. Because I'm pretty sure I forgot it at some point in one of the videos. It was probably the video where I first went to this level. Alright, now I got some squids to fight or something. Where are they? There she is. Yeah, uh... They really can't handle the Kraken at all. I mean, you know, the Kraken is one of your uh, super abilities in the uh, multiplayer of the game. So the fact of the matter is, uh, nothing can really fight it. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that with that, the only... Uh, uh, you know, super weapon that doesn't appear in the, uh, possible one-player missions would be the bomb rushes of the, the various swords. Alright, here we go! So, let's see here. We got lots of spinning platforms in this level. Given that we can just climb walls at our leisure, I don't think that... Oh, they can break boxes. That's cool. But yeah, uh, given that we can climb walls at our leisure, I don't think that the main challenge at this level will be a challenge. <laughs> oh, he tried to throw a bomb at me, but I think my body just absorbed it pretty much. I 
I'm not even really bothering trying to, like, defeat enemies or get the eggs or whatever at this point. I'm just going. I mean, it's a speed run. You gotta, you gotta skip everything you can, right? <laughs> Even though that's not normally how I play games at all. Normally, I'm the kind of guy to like try to get everything in the game. Which, I guess, if anybody's been watching me throughout very long, they'll probably know that. <laughs> there we go. There's another really fast level. I was expecting. That, uh, you know, the first two Amiibos, they took up enough episodes to last for like a week or so. And I was expecting that to be the case with this Amiibo as well, but, uh... With how fast I'm going through the time trial levels, I suspect that that may not actually be the case. Oh, okay, yay, we have, uh, we have more squids. Well, not squids, they're... They're the Octo... They're, they're the Octolinks, but you know what I mean. And, uh, we can just completely ignore them. Oh, I guess we can't ignore them right in this particular moment. Oh, wow, they actually killed me. Like, immediately. Nice. Oh, I can't... I can't climb that? Weird, I thought I could. Just... Oh my gosh. Why, why can't I not hit this thing? Oh my gosh, that's like the hardest Octoling to hit! I thought, it, I thought last time I played this level it was because I was playing as the sniper that was hard to hit. But no, it's just... It's the hardest Octoling to hit in the game! But whatever. I still went through that level really fast. Alright, time for another boss, and it's another time attack. Didn't see that coming! Oh man, does that mean that I'm gonna have to fight D DJ Octavio in a time attack mode? That's gonna be intense! That boss is so long! And it's this boss again! There we go. Yeah, uh, the Kraken actually makes this boss pretty easy. Or at least a little bit easier than normal. There we go. Yeah, wow, this is just pathetic. I feel like either these are intentionally easy, or they did not suspect you to use the Kraken all that much. Oh man. Oh man, these teeth are actually taking multiple hits! Hmm. Well, guess I can't just Kraken through that one. His golden teeth are too powerful for me. There we go. And that's it! He got one good chomp at me because of his golden teeth, but other than that... Went down super easy. Probably the easiest boss yet. Alright, but here we go. 
the final set of levels. And this is in fact the final limited ink level.